In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to clip an XREF, and we're going to talk a little bit about why you would want to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach an X reference by picking it right here from my ribbon. And I'm going to insert, uh, attach my first floor plan. And I'm going to let it come in as an overlay, leave all this other stuff the same and tell it OK. So here's my drawing. And let's say that I really wanted, the purpose of bringing in this drawing was because I wanted to do a detail of the bathroom. And so maybe I wanted to bring it in and uh, enlarge it and, and to be able to dimension it and label it. Or maybe I want to bring it in so I can project down the lines and create an interior elevation or whatever might be the case. If I want to get rid of all the information around just the bathroom area, what I can do is I can clip the XREF. So to do that, I have a couple options here. First of all, I can select the image. And we can see that I have over here on the ribbon in 2010, I have the ability to change to, uh, to select, create a clipping boundary or to remove a clipping boundary. In uh, previous versions of AutoCAD, I can right click and I can go to um, clip XREF right here. So if you're following this along and you're not in 2010, uh, you can just click it from here. If you're in 2010, you can tell it to create a clipping boundary to remove one right there. So let's go ahead and get started. There's lots of options when it comes to clipping and so the very first one is we just want to hit clip the XREF and we see that we have some options down here and uh, by default it's asking for a new uh, clipping boundary and so I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter for new or the space bar and for right now I'm just going to take the default which is rectangular so if I hit the space bar again, it wants to know the first corner. And I'm just going to zoom in over here. I'm going to toggle my uh, O snaps off. And I'm just going to kind of do a rectangle around my area right there. And we see that everything else disappeared. And now I just have my uh, drawing uh, clipped. In, my X reference is clipped and it's just showing the, the bathroom area. Okay, so let's take a look at a few of our other options. I'm going to select the X reference again and I'm just going to tell it to remove the clipping boundary. So I can click right here or I can go back to here on my um, right click menu, tell it clip, clip X ref and one of my options down here is D for delete. So I'm going to hit D for delete and my entire drawing comes back. Alright, that seems simple enough. Let's select it again and look at some more options. This time I'm just going to pick it from here, create clipping boundary. And again, the default was rectangular, but this time I'm going to do polygonal instead. So I'm going to draw a P line with it. So I'm going to do P for polygonal. And it allows me to do kind of an, an, a, any shape that I want. So I'm just going to actually draw a line here, a P line. And I want to come over here and I want to, maybe I want to catch this, uh, come down here and catch this door. I want to come over and up and I want to come back over here. When I'm finished I can just hit enter and then it clips that area. So it allows me to do a clip of an odd shaped area uh, by doing that. Okay so let's kind of look at a few other options here. I'm going to click the XREF again and I'm going to go back to click clip XREF. And let's say I wanted to know, I don't, I don't have that P-line. I kind of just drew it as I went. And maybe I want that P-line back. Maybe I want to adjust it slightly. So one of the things that I can do is I can tell it to generate the polyline. So I'm going to, the, the, the shortcut for that is the P for polyline because that's what's capitalized. So I'm going to do P for polyline. And now we see that the polyline uh, comes back. Basically the, the shape I drew when I, when I defined it, it creates a P-line now that follows that shape. And what's cool about that is it allows me to go in here and I can modify this shape if I would like to. So maybe I want to pull this up a little bit. So I'm just going to grip it actually to do it. So maybe I'm going to just, I just want to pull this up a little bit maybe uh, to here and I'm going to pull it up over here also. And, uh, and over here maybe I'm just going to stretch it. I'm just going to stretch it up and it has all kinds of stuff going on on the screen because it, it knows that XREF's underneath there. But when I'm finished, um, I've kind of redefined my polyline. But the problem is it hasn't changed anything. 
um, the clip is still the same. All it did was generate a P line that represented my clipping boundary. It's not my clipping boundary. So what I can do is I can click my object. I can right click and tell it to clip XREF. I can tell it that I want to do a new one. So when I hit space for new, because it's the default, it's going to say, do you want to delete the old boundary? And I'm going to tell it yes. Now that's not this P line that it generated. It's the actual boundary defining the clip to begin with. So I'm going to tell it yes. And then it wants to know if I want to do a rectangular. But I also have the option over here. If I, if I look over here on the command line, it says select polyline. So I'm going to do S because that's the capital letter. And the capital letter on my command line options is the... Um, way to shortcut to it. So I'm going to do S for select and now I can pick this P line that I have and now it clips my drawing to that shape of that P line. So that's really really useful um, a useful tool to be able to do that. So I'm going to delete the polyline I'm going to come over here and remove the clipping and I'm going to show you one last option here. And this one is one that, that um, is a little bit different. This is a newer feature. I think it was introduced maybe in 2009, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to click on the XREF. I'm going to come up here to create a clipping boundary. And notice that I have an option that says Invert Clip. And the, the shortcut for it is I. So I'm going to hit I. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to create, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Uh, right here, so I'm going to hit enter for rectangle and I'm going to draw my rectangle but what happens is it does an invert of the clip so basically instead of clipping everything outside of the area it clipped everything that was, it got rid of everything that was inside the area that I drew so this is, you know, this is still my full XREF but I didn't delete the objects, I didn't hide them behind a, a, a mask or anything, they're still there uh, in the actual original drawing if I were to open it but what it did is it kinda just wiped out that area in the middle it clipped out that area uh, right there so you might have an area that's real busy got a lot of information you don't want you don't want to have on this drawing maybe you're gonna blow it up or something like that um, the same kind of things apply I can go to clip XREF and tell it to generate that P line if I want to know the area that was clipped then maybe I just write in here C enlarged plan or something like that and um, and I can, you know, have that blown up as a detail somewhere else. Okay, well that covers quite a bit of our options when it comes to clipping X references. So go ahead and, and play around with the different options and, uh, and make sure you kind of learn them because it's a very powerful tool uh, to be able to take these drawings, these big uh, X refs that we create and kind of clip them down to size and to where we can manage them, work with them, and get them the, the size of the scale and the view that we, we need them to be.